Heavenly God, we come to you uh, through faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, we praise you, uh, Father God, that uh, you are sovereign um, over all things and over our lives. And uh, we just pray that uh, you give the, the speakers wisdom, your wisdom, uh, this morning as they uh, present to us. And uh, you give us a, a heart of understanding uh, to receive the, uh, the truth that they'll reveal to us, uh, Lord, that we might uh, learn and um, and take these uh, teachings uh, with us uh, uh, in the days and weeks and months and years ahead uh, for the benefit uh, of our friends and families, Lord, for your glory, most of all, in Christ we pray. Amen. All right. Well, my name is Rob Dixon, and this has been a dream of mine for a vision, a, a passion that I've had for eight or nine years. Uh, and uh, ten years ago, I started being a case manager and guardian. By the way, if I'm nervous, if I appear nervous, it's because I'm nervous. Okay, so, so y'all just, you know, kind of pray for me and, and that I don't stutter too much, okay? So uh, I don't think I'll stutter. I'll, I'll hide that. At any rate, so uh, what, uh, in fact, uh, Lisa and I, we're both case managers, and a lot of what we do, I think the church could be doing. And uh, more of the, of the hand-holding, the, you know, the prayer, the, the visiting, those sorts of things. And that's really things that, that I think we, the church, can be doing. And, and uh, so today is the very first. This is like the, the there was no preseason. This is like the first game. And so uh, everything more or less looks well. So uh, if you see any glitches, I purposely put them there. So because we're not perfect this side of heaven, okay? Is that fair? Amen. Okay. So uh, next slide there, Mr. Troy. Uh, a couple Bible verses to start with. You shall stand up before the gray head and honor the face of an old man. And you shall fear your God, I am the Lord. And then in Psalm 71, and by the way, all these also are on your, on your uh, handouts. Uh, my mouth is Psalm 71 uh, for those of us going through a midlife crisis the writer of Psalm 71 was going through a midlife crisis my mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all day long do not cast me off in the time of old age do not forsake me when my strength fails for my enemies have spoken against me and those who watch for my life have consulted together saying, God has forsaken me, pursue and seize me, for there is no one to deliver. To deliver. O God, do not be far off from me. O my God, hasten to my help. And so, this certainly is, is one of the verses talking about, and, and I think it is a person in their midlife crisis, whatever age that was during the time this, this uh, psalm was written. And can some of y'all feel that? You know, that, that, that we're not quite as young as we used to be. We're getting a little older and more, you know, bent over, those sorts of things. And, uh, and so our prayer today is that we can provide you guys with hope. Uh, just like as a Christian, we've got to understand how much of a sinner we are, or I should say a person, a sinner before we accept Christ. So also, sometimes you have to hear the bad news in order to get motivated to find the good news. And so uh, that's, that's how that works, okay? Uh, I was told by a couple ladies, uh, us guys, we don't really think about such things. The bathrooms are located out that door right over there, okay? <laughs> so, uh, and you also can go there. So to the right, to the left, do si do and so on. A couple quick stories. First of all, the story, and I'm going to call her Joan. Four or five years ago, Lisa and I, we, we worked together and have for eight years. We used to have our own company. But at any rate, so Lisa and I, we were appointed in her advanced directives as power of attorney, health care surrogate, etc. We were the rent-a-son and rent-a-daughter because she had nobody to step up for her when she had issues. She got sick. We advocated for her. Four months later, we helped her return back to the uh, uh, back to her home. and. Uh, Lisa had put up, you know, welcome home, and we, I think we even sang a song or two. It was a, it was a very nice welcoming home party. At any rate, because of that four months that she was not well served by her church, and this is a lovely church, the, she dissed her church out of her will. 
and gave all the money to Colorado College. And so a couple years later, uh, she did die. And I'm administering the state estate for her. And instead of sending $750,000 to a local church to minister, to share the gospel, to etc., hire people, that's going to a scholarship fund for, for, uh, for math. I'm not against math. I am against English and French, but not math. <laughs> and, uh, and, and so, at any rate, that $750,000 could have been much better spent uh, uh, with the church. One other last story to mention. Uh, this village was noticing people drowning going down their river. This happened over in a far off country. So what happened was, was this, the villagers started all sorts of cool ways to save people. They trained divers. They had this perfect throw that they could throw the lifesaver out. And they'd rope people in and they were just doing really great. So they were very proud of themselves and they were doing good. They saved some, they didn't save others. Some that saved, they had to put on ICU and you know ventilators and all those sorts of things because they, 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 were, uh, they were not all safe. And then one of the villagers had a bright idea. Swim upstream or walk upstream and see why people are falling in the water. And isn't that a brilliant idea? Yeah. So what they did, they found out that too many people were trying to ford the river and were falling in and then drowning. So they built a bridge. So today that's what we're looking to do is to swim upstream, to walk upstream, run upstream, to try to get you guys interested in your spiritual life, absolutely, because we're all going to die someday, right? At least I am, unless Jesus returns. That's what Sharon has on her, on her voicemail. And, uh, and, and so we want, to, uh, we want to swim upstream, and we want to build a bridge, not to the 21st century, that was stolen by somebody else, but build a bridge to your future, because it could be a bright future, a bright future indeed. With that, Miss Carol is going to come forward, and she is our opening number. She's uh, the first up to bat, right? And so she'll have 20 minutes and no more. So Isaac